Hi, uh, welcome to One Thing Today in Tech. I'm joined by uh, Mr. Sridhar Vembu, founder and CEO of Zoho Corp. Going to do a really quick conversation with him. Uh, Sridhar, thank you for joining us. Namaskaram, thank you. Uh, let me start with a very quick question. Let's start with the conference. Uh, you're meeting developers and partners, and you've spoken about uh, building your own large language models. Can you give us a sense of what are some of the areas you'd like your developers to work on? The biggest area we are working on right now is how to improve the productivity in software development itself. That's part of the what I think is a big deal. We are working deeply in that R&D. We, I believe that productivity in software development itself can be easily tenfold, maybe 20, 30 fold in the long term. So. People are talking about uh, funding winters, a global slowdown and so on. Uh, from your vantage point, can you give us a sense of the outlook over the next few quarters for the Indian SaaS sector? Yeah, so the what happened, of course, to, to understand where we are today, we have to understand what went on before. We had a truly massive bubble. A lot of investment uh, came in, a lot of money got spent unwisely often, unproductively. And now we are seeing the reckoning, the funding has dropped like over 70% now, and that is inevitable. We have seen this cycle before, and multiple times in Silicon Valley, everywhere. So it's a natural reckoning, and it will bottom up, uh, bottom out, and then there'll be a, a new funding cycle will start, but it won't necessarily be in the same area. And I hope it's not, because we really have to invest in diverse areas of R&D, not just SaaS became a crowded trade, as I say. Everything, everyone crowded into SaaS. Really, we have to diversify across the vast technology landscape. And I believe that's what will happen in the next cycle. Zoho is our $1 billion revenue SaaS company. And there's some expectation that Freshworks will get there in the coming years. When you look at the next set of companies, can you talk about what are their big challenges if they're looking to try and scale to where you are and beyond? Yeah, so the primary challenge today in SaaS is that customers don't want to deal with like 500 vendors. So you have to put all these together and they don't want to do the integration. And we have to do the pre-integration, we have to offer deep value, make it affordable, all of that. That's the biggest challenge, that is a challenge facing all of the SaaS companies. And if we navigate that well, there is a, a very good business success is possible here. Can you give us a quick update on your own investments in hardware? Uh, I know that um, even on a personal basis, you made some investments, and at Zoho, you're quietly working on several projects. Anything that worth, that's worth highlighting? So we have a product shipping today in medical instruments. Of course, our V-Titan subsidiary is doing it, and we have data center hardware that we are building so that our own data center will have more of our hardware. That's one area that we are working on. And we have a significant investment in semiconductor design, and uh, so chip design. That will continue and we are going to put those chips to work, some of it in our own infrastructure, longer term. And we have FPGA uh, investments going on so that we can squeeze more uh, performance out of our hardware, all of that. So these are all some of the areas that we are working on. And over the next 12, 18 months, what might be your top priorities at Zoho? Uh, navigating these uh, potentially challenging economic times. These were challenging even before the latest events in the Middle East and which are which had a huge layer of concern on top of what was already a slowing global economy. Navigating that would be a primary challenge and we have uh, uh, guaranteed to our employees we will not resort to layoffs and I want to keep that promise. So navigating this in a way that is uh, both we take care of our customers and take care of our employees and meanwhile inventing so that we can secure our long-term future. These would be my focus. Okay, Shredan, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank you, thank you, Muskan. And that's one thing today in tech.